two, one, let's go. Try to run from the switch, we catch him. Dumb ass ain't making too far. Whole lot yeah. of in the car. Yeah. I shoot to the mall. Yeah. I'm in the cup with a up, trying to fuck me a buck. Bro, buck, buck, buck. Gotta stick with a drum. They like, who that, who that? I'm throwing something, trying to run. Two red, two red. We start to freeze. And so it looks you right between the eyes. Jumped off the bench and I turned into a star. I'm a baller. Anywhere I go, my gang, they know who we are. You can't even see me on FaceTime. Bitch, just ask if I'm the one to DM the offense. That ain't me, bitch. That's the fake job. <laughs> Money, Wally P, shout out my label. That's me. I own 100% of my cuts. Bitch, nobody taking a Back at it again with another reaction video, man. Back at it again with another banger, man. First reaction video of the night, first banger of the night, man. It's currently Monday the 13th, man. Monday, May the 13th. Now, I know I ain't post for the last two days, upload for the last two days, whatever you guys want to call it. But, man, we back on our grind. We back to our shit, man. I ain't going to lie. Saturdays and Sundays are really for the fam. You already know. Happy Mother, happy late Mother's Day to all the lovely mothers out there. You already know what it is. Forgot to even post on Mother's Day. I didn't even forget, but you already know. We were doing stuff. So I'm chilling. I'm chilling. Saturday also had stuff going on. But Friday was the last time we posted, and we posted what? Three, three music videos. And I was supposed to post three more on Saturday, but I got caught up in stuff. Very busy day the last two days. But we back on our grind, man. 7.17 p.m. Expect both, both of these videos to be dropping around 8 p.m., but they will be dropping very soon. Today, we got top 10 secretly dark cartoons. Now, y'all all know how we grew up, man. We really didn't understand the meaning behind any of these fucking cartoons that are probably about to be on this video. But growing up, we were like, oh, this is funny. And then we grew up, and we're like, what the, f what is this? Like, how did this become this? How did, how did they even implement these jokes without us even knowing? And for the parents out there that let us watch this, What's, go what's going on with y'all? Y'all knew what was going on, bro. Anyway, let's get into it, man. Hope you guys are on a bus day. Stay let's on top of your grind. Last time I get that bag, we'll get that bag. When I go get it, nobody's going to get it for you, man. That's a fact, man. I preach those words every single time I make a video, man. You already know what the vibe is, man. So whenever, whenever I do these videos, man, I post the same day for the new people here. Whenever I do a video, I post the same day for the new people here. So don't expect me to be dropping when I'm not even like, you feel me? Near the house or something. But Mr. Mr. B's video, that's perfectly fine. But today we got two Watch Mojo videos. So I feel like it's going to be a good day. I feel like that's going to be a good day, man. But I hope you guys are having a really good day, though. I know I am. Let's get into it, man. Subscribe and shout out. Why we just reached 26.3K subs, man. 26.3K subs. Amazing, man. Catalano TV. Catalano TV. Thank you for joining the squad. Thank you for joining the champions. Thank you for joining the journey, man. We we suddenly just blowing up out of nowhere. I'm not going to lie with you. Let's see if we can get 27K subs by the end of this week. 27K subs by the end of this week. Let's go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Don't you ever get lonely up here? Lonely for what? For people? No. Welcome Arnold to Watch show, Mojo, bro. and today we're counting down our picks for the most deceptively disturbing cartoons. Fucking adorable cat monster! Beware of minor episode spoilers ahead. Bro, Number Steven two, Universe was Powerpuff tough. Girls. Why won't you leave me alone? Professor, it's us, the Powerpuff Girls. Stay back, leave me alone. This beloved cartoon might have had a colorful palette and a, a variety bad thing, of humorous, eccentric characters. But every now and then, the show delved into some dark territories. The Speed Demon episode showed a bleak future where Townsville descended into apocalyptic anarchy. <laughs> yeah, I don't know about that one. I don't know. I don't know about that one, bro. That's honestly crazy. The citizens are all driven mad and believe that the Powerpuff Girls abandoned them to die. Powerpuff Girls, you did this. That's, That's literally not the -E only -E episode the show's done. That's literally In what Twisted that is. Sister, the girls gain a fourth sister named Bunny. You'd expect this what new addition to their family to be a tender moment, but instead it's deeply tragic. Because of Bunny's deteriorating health, her body fell apart and she died in an explosion of light. Guess it's not always about sugar spice and everything nice here. Nah, I guess she was really unstable wild. and the blast broke her down into her original ingredients. She was good after all. We were the ones who were bad. Number nine, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Other times, fear is a liar. 
Bro, I forgot how weird that show actually was, but bro, now looking back on it, that shit was weird. And the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, I don't think there was anything bad with it, bro. If there's, if you should call something bad, you should either be calling the Transformers crazy. Confusing crazy. until you can't believe your own eyes. But the very worst fear? That's the fear that destroys all hope. The Turtles but have Teenage been Mutant in Ninja Turtles a fair fire. share of dark stories. In fact, the comics they first debuted in weren't even meant for kids. But still, we didn't expect this show to be as gritty as it turned out. When the Heroes in a Half show returned to TV screens in 2003, viewers saw a more rough around the edges group of born. turtles than the ones they may have remembered from the 80s. The turtles were designed to look more imposing and there were more stakes to the storylines. What happened? The creature got us, but it was merciful. It offered us the chance to join it, oh, to nah. serve it, to become like it. I took it off. Characters even die. Storylines like City at War kept the story grounded in gritty plots. Although there is a lot of humor to be found, the show never shielded away from more mature elements. Leonardo, what have you done? Number eight. I'm not gonna Scooby lie, Doo they Mystery out. Incorporated. Some deep-voiced creepy guy said if I didn't quit my job at Destroyed. This was the best Scooby Doo I've ever watched in my life, man. Mystery Incorporated. Best, I feel like the, the shows from 2003 to 2012 were the best fucking kid shows that you could get now. Now they got Nick Jr. and all that other ratchet stuff. Oh, something like, terrible would to happen to me. That. I never thought it would be it's so disgusting funny. bugs. Right off the bat, things felt different with the Mystery Incorporated show. For starters, it didn't shy away from subjecting characters to horrifying fates. It might have also had the darkest things we've ever seen the Scooby Doo gang deal with. What are you doing at school? Hey! Most Scooby Doo shows emphasize hijinks and delivered some entertaining spooks. I love that shit. But shame, Mystery Inc. dived deep into unnerving monsters, chilling violence, and the dark history surrounding Crystal Cove. It also sets up plots that span entire seasons as opposed to simple freak of the week stories. And these storylines culminated with the gang fighting a creature capable of destroying the entire universe. Yeah, this is definitely one of the most epically unhinged Scooby Doo cartoons. What's that noise? Hey, that's the best one of my life. Number seven, Scooby Doo Mystery Static Shot. I hate guns. Five. My mom was killed by one. It was an accident. But Listen, I gotta go. If you want a show that features incredible action and cool superheroes, Static Shock has got Static you Shock covered. Was fire too. At the same time, you'll get an intricate look into complicated societal problems. Static Shock wasn't just about punching bad guys and saving the day. It regularly addressed troubling societal issues like poverty, gun violence, and racism. In Sons of the Fathers, Virgil finds That's out his best friend Richie's for, dad though. is a racist. What's going on down there? Well, you got what you wanted, Dad. My best friend's gone because of you and your stupid racism. I hate you! And in the episode called Jimmy, oh, an angry student threatened to do harm with a sidearm that didn't belong to them. Each and every time the show got up close and personal with dark issues, it offered well thought out solutions to real problems. Tell an adult so or fast. someone you trust. Do your part to increase the peace out there, all right? Number six, Ed, Ed, and Eddie. Let me take that for you. But that's what it was literally made for, bro. Like, literally people to engage with that. You don't contaminate those me? badly drawn fingers. Eddie, Eddie, Eddie was stupid as shit. Can't do that, Eddie. Baby sister of mine has trusted me with her allowance. Ed, Ed, and Eddie may seem like a kid's cartoon about three friends <laughs> getting into sick. mission. However, this show is jam-packed with mature humor and themes. The day that Ed stood still is an especially grim episode. When Ed tries masquerading as a monster, things get to his head and he attacks other kids savagely. He wants to skin off my bones, Double D! The show also features the antagonistic trio of the Kanker Sisters. Despite bro, all having crushes sisters, on the heads, bro. these schoolyard tormentors go through great lengths to harass and even yeah, assault. They be doing too but much. the boundary crossing Kankers are far from the only issues. With Eddie willing to sing to low depths to profit off of other kids, each episode reminds you that the protagonists aren't that heroic. I just can't believe it. I never understood why their tongues are different colors. Like, that's what I really didn't understand about that show, man. 
Someone in the comments, if you have a theory about that, let me know, bro. I still let me know. Cash money, boy. For once in my thinking life, I'm in the black. Number five, Ben 10. Ben 10. Nice to finally meet you face to face. If you really think about it, the concept of Ben 10 is terrible. Well, I love Ben 10. Don't get us bro. wrong. It's super cool. But willingly turning yourself into alien creatures who range from mildly harmless to downright horrifying is definitely intense. And with villains that come out of the woodwork every episode, the threats that Ben faces only level up. He's fought everything Uncle, from mummies to krakens, not to mention Uncle a world ben, conqueror ben named Vilgas. The puny earth being and that is this keeping dude. the omnitrix from me. Bro, oh my gosh, bro. I was dead so in love with Ben 10, it's not even funny. Like, I used to have the watch, like, and then when they had, when they came out with that thing for the Camaro, the green Camaro in the car, I wanted that shit so bad. So nice so sorry, my bro. trophy wall. Additionally, the scare also looks so haunting, he might as well be from the works of H.P. Lovecraft. As the show <laughs> progressed, Ben even ended up killing several of his villains. We get that there's a lot at stake, but these are definitely situations that no 10 year old should be going through. Your cities will be laid to waste, your oceans will dry up, your mountains will crumble. Hey, it will yo. be the end of the world. Number four, the magic school bus. Magic school, school bus is fire. I don't this care. Instant. What's the problem, DA? But the chip like, oh, was a little This too cartoon much. didn't just teach us about scientific concepts. We also learned that a quirky Miss educator Prince. with access to a magic school bus can be a dangerous combination. Looking back on the yeah. show, it's clear that Miss Frizzle wasn't the most responsible teacher. She constantly put her students in jeopardy with her elaborate field trips that put her students in mortal danger. Here's proof of what'll happen to you if you stay here with your stuff. I don't know! And we seriously doubt that she got permission slips for all of her reckless outings. While the light tone and constant yes, jokes may make the it. show seem like a light romp, don't be fooled. There's no chance that you would actually want to risk taking a ride on Miss Frizzle's bus. Watch out! That's all I wanted to do when I was a kid. What was that? What happened? What's going on? Number three, Steven Universe. What are you doing out of bed? Why aren't you? Bro, I'm kind of mad they keep putting these fucking shows on here because these shows are fired. Steven Universe, one of the best shows, bro. Dr. Strong. I want to see that number it's one. It's not a patient. <laughs> How can a show with such an upbeat protagonist and bright color palette ever get dark? Ask a Steven Universe fan. Although the series starts out with fun stories fact. about alien gems fighting monsters, the series get darker as we learn more. It turns out the whole conflict arose from a planet-wide civil war that caused many innocents to lose their autonomy. We thought we'd won. There was a bright light and everyone was... Why did I do it? What do you mean? Just tell me! If the themes weren't heavy enough, the show also features plenty Steven of Universe frightening images. Fire. The physical and emotional trials wear down on the characters as the series goes on. While Pearl struggles with issues of abandonment, Steven's rough childhood catches up with him. The show's mature underbelly is a great example of why you shouldn't judge a bright book by its cover. Can't you make them go away? That's I also tried, a fact too. But it made it worse. Oh, my life is over. I can't go on to adventures. Number two, SpongeBob SquarePants. SpongeBob SquarePants has yeah, delved into SpongeBob a surprising <laughs> amount of disturbing territory. In Bro, I could watch Spongebob any day of the fucking week. But Spongebob was honestly one of the craziest shows that I've ever watched in my life. Nasty Patty. I don't know Spongebob how to Spongebob and Mr. Krabs think they've one. killed the health inspector with food poisoning. Get a hold of yourself, boy. We gotta get rid of this body before anyone sees it. We gotta take it out and bury it. In a panic, yeah, they, they attempt to dispose of the body and shit. cover their tracks. While the health inspector turned out to be okay, their commitment to the plan was disturbing. But that's not as dark as the show gets. Multiple characters struggle with depressing and unnerving realistic ways. In one episode, Plankton tries to harm himself after his personal fears are constantly exploited. In fact, better yet, just step on me as hard as you can. Would you do that for me? I'm sorry, Plankton, Come but that flies Plankton. in the face of my good nature. Forget it, kid. I'll just wait for the next bus. There's also plenty of body horror to go around. You might hey, want to think yo. twice before driving down the pineapple under Sandy. the sea. Oh, 
SpongeBob. Thanks, Wild. Uh, no thanks. Forty-eight, <coughs> see. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to us on your phone. Make sure and close that subscribe. I knew this would not be a Number good one, place for my child to grow up. I could not keep her safe. Hey, Arnold regularly tackled serious problems and somber situations. Chocolate Boy's strong attachment to the sweet treat was handled like a substance use disorder. Throughout the show, it was heavily implied that Helga's yeah, mom had an alcohol dependency drug. issue. Mr. Wynn even gets separated from his infant daughter during wartime. Stories like Pigeon Man also stuck with fans. Shortly after he appears, vandals trash the man's home. What? This is awful! Who did this? People, Arnold. The incident deeply saddens the Pigeon Man so much that yeah, he that's leaves crazy. the city entirely. Thankfully, a rumor that he was flying to his demise was shot down by the show's creator. But the downbeat ending of his story was just another example of how mature Hey Arnold could get. This would have happened if I hadn't. Arnold, don't be sad. You've taught me that some people can. Be I miss shows like this with plots like this, bro, because nowadays, bro, they'll just turn on a show and it's all googly and colorful and shit and it's not it's nothing like this at all he trusted at all and i'll never forget that is there a surprisingly dark cartoon that we missed wow transformers you definitely forgot transformers man y'all know how i like that reaction video man like comment subscribe and that post notification about me as always i'm gonna see y'all in the next one peace and love we need out.